Anybody tell me a little bit about productivity or performance? Is there any difference? What is it I'm trying to explain here? What is productivity? Or do you use that term? A productivity factor, you know, productivity, measuring performance. The key word here, what we're looking for under performance, is measurement. We are going to be responsible for measuring how well we did against a set of values. Right? So we're going to talk about performance strictly on the completion side, and it's about measurement. So if I said that I'm going to schedule or plan for a thousand hours of work to be done in a shift, a 10-hour shift, and I only get 500 hours completed, or I only earn 500, I'm sitting at 50%. Right? And if I continue to do that, it's just going to snowball until I've got a runaway, and I'm going to have to produce a three-week look ahead and hope that the field get her, get her done. Right? What happens? when I schedule 10 hours of work on a 10-hour shift? What am I actually doing? You're underachieving. Does anybody work 10 hours on a 10-hour shift? Never. No. It's not even an option, right? So I need to look at what factor do I put on my estimates in order to compensate for what we call ass time or windshield time or waiting time or non-productive time, right? which is a very expensive. So productivity is a factor. And we're going to use that. It's a factor applied to a benchmark estimate to compensate for a number of a number of things that we don't anticipate. Now, people call it padding man hours. You know, when you estimate, we don't do that in the turnaround environment. When we estimate, we estimate exactly how long it takes to perform an activity. Then we apply a productivity factor to make up for the time when we go to schedule it. So, for example, if I have an exchanger and I'm going to do a strip-down rebuild procedure on an exchanger, and I say I'm going to blind it and remove the channel cover, remove the channel head, pull the bundle, that exchanger that I'm, that I'm going to take apart and clean and put back together again is the same exchanger here in Edmonton or Fort McMurray or Vancouver as it is in Saudi Arabia and Indonesia. It's identical. Same procedures, same steps, same two hours. But when I get to Saudi Arabia, I'm going to put on, a, I'm going to double my estimates with a productivity factor because it take, because you know, we're in a 42 degree heat and people are just slower there. If I'm in South America or Brazil, I'm going to change it. If I'm in Fort McMurray and it's winter time, I'm going to change it. So I'm changing my productivity factors when I go to schedule my my jobs, right? rather than trying to do it when I'm planning. And again, we'll talk about the difference between planning and schedule. So productivity is a factor that we're going to apply to a benchmark estimate when we get into our plan. And so I'm going to call it PF for productivity factor. We're going to, for example, apply a 1.4 to our estimates so that we can put out a realistic schedule. What is the worst thing that happens when a field foreman or supervisor gets a shift report or a Gantt chart that has more work on it than he can possibly get done in one or two shifts with the people he's got? Just Absolutely. You know, you've just, you've just lost all, uh, any of that relationship that you built because what they're saying is that this is, you're setting me up for failure. So what you want to do, and the goal here, is to issue a shift report that's realistic. The shift report says, I want to get 500 hours of work done. The people are available. The equipment's available. The weather's good. Uh, the tools are available. The parts are available. It's a safe work environment. You just set the guy up for success. He comes back at the end of that shift and says, I got it all done. Now you're going to get buy-in because they're going to be looking for the next shift report. And if we do that with everyone, it means we're going to have a very, very controlled environment. We're going to have people running around trying to work on things and on top of each other and stealing cranes and doing They're going to work on what, what we agreed to work on. And that's the whole aspect here.